Hi, I'm Roni Benami, and I'm going to show you how to do the Paraloid B72 labeling method. B72 is a thermoplastic resin with excellent aging characteristics, and it's highly reversible, so it's preferable over using something like lacquer or a cellulose nitrate-based varnish, which can yellow over time and flake off, resulting in the loss of primary information. Um, this is ideal for non-porous objects such as metal, glass, ceramic, and stone. So these are the materials I'll be working with. I have reagent grade acetone. I have Paralyte B72 uh, 30% concentration in acetone. I have golden high flow acrylic in carbon black. Um, I've put some of that in this little bowl. I've decanted some Paraloid B72 into this beaker and some acetone into this beaker, which I'll use for cleaning the brush and in case I need to do any cleanup. Um, I've got a small brush for applying the B72, a really teeny brush for applying the catalog number, and I also have this white Posca pen, which I'm going to be using for darker colored surfaces. It's an acrylic based pen, and also a cotton swab in case of cleanup. I'm using extraction because I'm working with solvents. So, to demonstrate, I'm going to label a dark and a light glazed ceramic. Um, I'm going to start out with this light glazed plate. Um, before applying the B72, be sure to spot check with a cotton swab moistened with acetone to make sure there's no interaction with uh, the surface. This is um, especially important for painted, varnished, or otherwise treated surfaces. Um, I've selected an, selected an unobtrusive location to label on the underside of the ceramic plate. Um, I've made sure I'm working on a clean surface by brushing it free of dust and degreasing it with acetone. Um, and now that everything is ready, I'm going to apply the B72. in one stroke that's just big enough to fit the catalog number. On the other side, and get all the B72 off. I'll wait for it to dry for about 20 minutes and then apply a second layer the same way. Two layers should be enough for a smooth surface like this, but more porous surfaces may require thicker applications to prevent absorption of the ink and consequent disfigurement of the object. Um, after applying the second layer, let the B72 dry for about half an hour, and then you can write your catalog number on it. So I've already um, created uh, a swatch for me to do that over here. It's a little hard to see, so that we don't have to wait. I'm using this tiny little brush, and you do have to have a pretty steady hand for it. So I'm just going to write the date and the catalog number. I can clean that off with a little bit of acetone. Um, after the ink is completely dried, which I have over here, um, you can um, put a top coat of the B72 on, which will prevent the number from wearing away, um, especially if it's going to endure a lot of handling. So that's what I'm going to do. And that is your label. I'm going to do the same thing on a darker colored ceramic. So starting out again by putting a swatch of the B72 down. Wait for that to dry for about 20 minutes. Apply a second layer, let that dry as well. 
And now I can write my label and I'm going to use this white Posca pen. When that ink is fully dry, then I can do my final top layer. And I'm all done. So um, before you apply this to an object, practice the labeling method until you feel confident. All right, thanks to Connecting to Collections Care for having me. And thanks for watching.